Hey everyone, Tony D and Little Joan here on the Screenwriter's Rant. Uh, please smash like and subscribe. We're going to take a look at Hooking Up. Hooking Up. It's a comedy movie and Lord knows we need more comedies right now. Uh, please check out my books, Woke a Stand a Novel and The Pineys, books one, two, and three. Available, Kindle Unlimited, ebook, trade paperback, and soon audiobooks. Also, check out the Web Comic Factory, celebrating 10 years of web comics. So many fabulous web comics. All right, hooking up. Let's check it out. Mm -hmm. Darla Bean! Yes, Your Highness. Oh, I am. Oh. You told me to write about office romance. And instead, you made a sex tape. Oh. You're fired. What? What is going on here? She made a sex tape to do something and then got fired? This is me? No. Sir, I think you're mistaken. No. I got testicular cancer. My junk is being sent to the nether realms. Man, do you have the wrong room? <laughs> Whoops. Oh. You going somewhere? Just some dumb exercise. I think we were supposed to make a list of all the people that we had sex with and circle the places on a map. Do you have to, like, revisit all the places? That's actually not a bad idea. I have an idea for a story. I met this guy. He has cancer. What if I relived my sexual history? It'll just be me and him having sex the whole time. Like, a do-over. And I really need my job back. You want to revisit all your past romps with me? For my therapy. Are you supposed to not be having sex? You could have one last hurrah. I don't even know you. It's time, man. You just need to get laid. Move on. Hey -o. Looks like you just bought that on Craigslist. I did. Like a while ago, like when Craigslist just first started. Yeah, this is Craig's car. Come to the place. Consider this our Bible. Okay, this is a very weird movie. And this woman, or this character, has had a ton of sex. My God. Uh, um... So I, I, I'm not totally on board with the premise. It seems so convoluted and complicated uh, and unrealistic, if I'm being honest. I don't, I, don't feel, I don't feel like this is a movie that could happen, but let's see the rest of it. Whoa, all these X's. What's your number? No. How about we say it at the same time? I could do this. One, two, three. 169. 169. Would you please look at the road? Girl, we could play. I want live posts from the road. I want daily entries on how this guy's dealing with his condition and how sex and love change with age and maturity. Some sanitation, please. Thank you. Oh. you know my blue. I know that I got you. I'm trying to distract myself, but I'm still terrified. Finding out you have a problem and you don't know how to fix it. That's really scary. Where are we? It's my parents' house. Welcome. No. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it's billed as a comedy. I'm not seeing it as a comedy, in my view. It, it's, it's not awful. It's not very funny, though. Uh, it feels more of like... I mean... To me, when you say comedy, there's going to be some big laughs. Uh, this whole setup is so awkward and weird. Uh, I don't see, you know, it's too much. It, like, comedies need to start small. And this starts way big. Way big. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, I think it's part of, you know, what we've been experiencing with the media, like, Someone wrote this movie thinking, oh, yeah, you know, who couldn't relate to <laughs> being able to fly all over the country and having sex with whoever you want and, and working for either a website or some media outlet and just writing whatever. You know what I mean? Like, that's not something a lot of people can relate to. Yes, so, uh, there are a few hundred people who have been fortunate enough to have uh, that experience, but... That's not the majority, like, 
comedy has to connect, you know, and it's, this is not a comedy in my, it's not connecting for me. I, I'm like, you know, the, the, the male character, maybe a little, but it just feels, uh, it feels very weird and not, it do, it definitely doesn't feel funny. I mean, it can be an amusing drama. I think, I think if you build it as an amusing drama, you know, that he becomes the catalyst for her to stop, you know, being a sex addict uh, and, and, you know, maybe growing up and settling down. That, to me, would be a good movie and a good drama. But it's mostly a drama, in my view. It's an amusing drama. It can be amusing, but, uh, you know, at, at best, to me, this is a dramedy. And as you all know, I hate dramedies. I hate that word, dra <laughs> dramedies. Um, it's either a comedy or a drama. And this feels more like more drama than comedy to me. Just my opinion. Um, oh, let's do the act breakdown. Okay, so first act, uh, she's a, a train wreck. Uh, and then she meets him at the meeting. And, um, you know, he's drunk. And uh, they end up uh, going out afterwards. And she comes up with this crazy plan. He doesn't want any part of it at first. Uh, then she shows up at his house and bugs him. And his friends are like, you know, you need to get laid and, you know, get your mind off of things. And eventually he says, okay, yeah, I'll do this crazy thing. And then the second act, they do the, start doing this crazy thing. And at first it's crazy and they're having lots of sex. And then, you know, they kind of become friends and they bond over things. And then, you know, the third act, I guess probably he either has a near-death experience or he's going to die. And then, you know, she comes to terms with something uh, or maybe it gets better. I think it feels like not a downer movie. So I would think the end of it is they fall in love and they have a more stable monogamous relationship <laughs> rather than have her banging people all over the country. <laughs> So, I mean, that's a positive message. And uh, so, I mean, good for them. But uh, I feel like they're overselling me on the comedy aspect. 